Good morning, we're back here at the Sage Creek Cottage today. I apologize, I'm a little hoarse. I've been fighting off a cold, so, so I get to sound funny today. We'll talk a little bit about countertops. And here, and as I had said in a prior video, you've got cabinets and countertops and backsplash and the electrician all have to be coordinated together. On top of that, once the cabinets are installed and we've checked to make sure everything's going to work with your appliances and etc the cabinet guy comes to the site and they do what's called templating and uh, and they literally build a template of this piece of stone as it would set on this countertop and as the wall is in reality on each particular job so that template then is built in place here and then sent to the countertop yard fabricators yard and laid on the piece of stone and the stone then is built to match that template so that when the stone comes out it for the most part goes right in place and the installer can just put it in place and fasten it to the cabinetry and off we go. It prevents a whole lot of work on site and really is a, a time saver for the schedule of the project. In Sage Creek we're installing quartz as you can see and one of the things I want to point out is the spacing that you leave for your stove when you're installing you know there's a coordination that needs to go on in that depending on the type of countertop you're putting in the spacing left for your stove is actually adjusted. So as a builder one of the reasons that we push to pick our cabinets and our countertops and everything early on in the project is so that for myself I can coordinate all this stuff for you. For instance, if this countertop was laminate, the space left for your stove would be almost a half inch tighter because the, the clearances on laminate are different than they are on quartz and stone. So we need to make those adjustments to allow your stove to fit perfectly when it goes in and not be fighting it or having to try and trim some edge of your stone at the last minute, right? That's all, all a coordination process process that needs to happen. The same things happen here on the island. The island's been templated and the stone's been installed. There's been some holes drilled which are ready for the plumber for the faucet and the air switch for the disposal and undermount sink has been installed. Typically on undermount sink after it's installed like this we space out about a week from the countertop install to the plumber and that gives time for the uh, epoxy that it, it attaches the sink to the bottom of the countertop to cure so that the uh, plumber when he puts his drains in can torque them down the way they should be and seal them up without moving the sink or doing any damage to the sink install. So there's a, there's a period that needs to wait there. So then the next step that will happen is when we do all the trim out on the cabinetry we'll also then install the corbels that will support the countertop underneath on the island so that um, as a user you, when you're have items out here and you're leaning against it and what have you, the top doesn't want to tip or move or break. At this point with nothing on it, there's nothing to worry about, but again, we'll put the corbels in and, and support it uh, before it's a finished product.